For those of you who don't know, every single year, the White House hosts the national champions. And this year that happened to be Clemson. So they, they went to the BCS. They wound up beating Alabama, of course. This is something that everybody in the state knows. I don't have to repeat it. And so Clemson goes on, and they go to the White House, meet with President Trump. Government's shut down right now, which means that there's no budget to be able to pay for the dinner. And they always have this nice, fancy steak dinner, that kind of thing. So what Trump does is he's like, oh, you know, they're, they're supposed to be coming over. I don't want to ruin their visit because of the shutdown. So I'm going to pay for it myself. So Trump takes his own money and goes out and buys a dinner for them. They're in the state dining room. They're meeting with the president and all this stuff. And what Trump does is instead of getting some fancy, uh, fancy catering company or something like that, he buys 300 hamburgers. <laughs> Gets them from McDonald's, Wendy's, and Burger King, and also buys a whole bunch of Domino's pizza. And he sets it out. And what's so hilarious about this whole thing, and you'll see it in a second, um, he just he sets it out just like you would any other state dinner, but instead of like you know steak or lobster or whatever else that they usually have at at state dinners, <laughs> they just have. Uh, this spread of burgers and uh, pizza. And so here's the president actually talking about that. He, he ordered fast food for the boys, and, and this is him bragging about it. So here's the president. Now, what's your favorite thing here, Mr. President? I like it all. I like it all. It's all good stuff. Do you great, great American food. And it's going to be very interesting to see at the end of this evening how many are left. Do you prefer McDonald's or Wendy's? I, I like them all. That's a tough question. If it's not a American, softball. I like it. It's all American stuff. So, but it's good stuff. And we have the national champion team, as you know, Clemson Tigers. And they had a fantastic game against Alabama. And they're all here. They're right outside the room. And I think we're going to let you uh, see them. But I'll bet you as much food as we have. We have pizzas. We have 300 hamburgers. Many, many french fries. All of our favorite foods. Uh, I want to see what's here when we leave. Because I don't think it's going to be much. <laughs> so th this is classic Trump. I mean, it really is. This is the epitome of Trump's personality. If you want to showcase what Trump's personality is like, that's it right there. He is a normal blue-collar guy with a crap ton of money. <laughs> and this is... This is really what he, he does. I mean, it's, it's this weird combination of like blue collar stuff and fancy because you, you see the, the very elegant ballroom and the Camberellas and everything. And on these big fancy silver trays, they've got 300 hamburgers. I just find that ridiculously amusing. And, and this is the thing about Trump. He's a very entertaining human being. That's the reason he was on TV for as long as he is. That's the reason that even though he was just kind of famous for being famous, that's the reason people were drawn to him. He is this big, larger than life personality. And this is the thing that a lot of people liked about Trump is that he comes off as very authentic. He is the guy that would just on his way to work or something uh, on his way to a business meeting. He's got to get lunch, say, Hey, you know what? Drive through that, that Burger King. And he stops by a Burger King and goes through the drive through in his limo. And with him, it's not a publicity stunt. It's not a novelty thing. He just wanted a Whopper. I mean, that's just the kind of guy Donald Trump is. And for all of his flaws, which are many, and all of his problems that he has, th the guy's not inauthentic. Even when he says things that aren't necessarily true, and when that happens, I point it out, even then, it comes off as though he actually believes it, and he probably does. He's probably just mistaken. And this is sort of a showcase of that, because you, you've got this weird combination of blue-collar and fancy and the reason that this, I think, makes Donald Trump very relatable is that if you got the call, the people that called you up and said, uh, look, you're going to host the national champion Clemson Tigers tonight. You're going to be in charge of that. We're coming over to your house and having dinner. This is exactly what you would do. If you knew that you were going to host for a football team, you would go out and you would buy a bunch of burgers or a bunch of sandwiches or a bunch of pizza or whatever else. This is how you would have handled that. And so because of that, this is something that people find very relatable about Trump because he reacts to things basically not much differently than the average American would. 
And he comes off insincere in that, and I think that he actually is. I, I like it. It's great American food. I like Wendy's. I like McDonald's. Now, out of those, I would prefer Wendy's way more to the other two. That's just my personal opinion. But the point in all of this is it's just an entertaining thing to do, and I think that the boys probably liked Clems, uh, at Clemson probably liked the burgers and the pizza more than they would have some kind of fancy uh, gaudy steak dinner. They probably really appreciated that. And so this is the thing. If you were hosting your son's football team, this is basically how you would react to that. And people resonate with that, and they like that about Trump. And so whether or not you agree with the guy politically or not, you got to admit this is entertaining, and this is sort of a showcasing Trump's down-to-earth authenticity. It's who the guy is. I really love personal liberty. I believe in freedom of expression and freedom of association. And so it is completely up to you whether or not you want to like this video and subscribe to the Tactics Radio YouTube channel. However, I will say this. You know who else never subscribed to my channel? Hitler. So the way I see it, you have two options. You can either like this video and subscribe to Tactics Radio on YouTube, or you can be like Hitler. Totally up to you.